How's it going, everyone? My name is Jake, and I have a table chock full of goodies to show you guys. Um, probably the least impressive thing here, actually, is a new blaster I got today at my local Ross. Is the uh, Busby Air Warriors uh, Revolution? Revolution. Yeah, this that's what this thing is. Um, it's actually really cool. That mag release is not comfortable at all, but the grip actually is really nice. The slide here is so satisfying, and from what I can tell, it packs quite a wallop. I haven't range tested it yet, but this is for another day. Uh, what we're going to focus on right now is what's on the table, which is it is a lot of stuff and really important stuff for my Aeon Pro build that I was telling you guys about in the last video, so let's take a look. Other than the beautiful drawer front on the bed, we have here uh, my first drill. This is a Ryubi 18 volt, and now it's technically not my first drill. Uh, but the other drill I have is corded, and this one uh, has a lithium battery. Also came with a battery charger right here, and the whole thing was like 60 bucks. And then it was an extra 10 bucks for uh, this set of 20 uh, drills, also by Ryubi. Uh, I really only needed the 764 drill bit for this project, but you never know. So I have all those now. Uh, and of course, our patient awaiting surgery on the table, the Adventure Force. Aeon Pro. I'm going to open this thing up for the first time and uh, put this all together. And of course, the kit going on to it from Palm Top Supply, the short dart pump kit. And I know, I'm not sure if I specified it in the last video, but this uh, converts the Aeon Pro to be a short dart only blaster. So it'll no longer be compatible with full length darts, which is fine because I want to spec this to be the best short dart blaster that I can get it to be. Um, while keeping it uh, close to 130, 150 ranges. Um, and uh, yeah, so this is what we got going on here. Uh, some other stuff I have here, just you know, some bits and bobs. I got a carpenter's pencil and a Milwaukee pen, Smith & Wesson knife my brother gave me like years and years ago. It, the blade's kind of dirty, but that's neither here nor there. This kit from Palm Top Supply, though, I need to talk about this just a little bit more because it is so clean and smooth it's some of the breast the, the breast it's some of the breast <laughs> printing that i've ever seen it's so smooth and so i just really love it and of course it does come with the pump uh this uh replaces the slide it has these uh picatinny rail that goes in the end and my favorite part of this whole thing honestly actually are these hk style sights and uh, i just i love this kit so much i have plans for the grip because there is picatinny on the grip right here uh, but we'll get to that uh, in the future. So, uh, I have a long way to go. Uh, you guys will see the highlights, but for me, it's going to be a while. You got anything to add, Cinnamon Bun? I, like the I agree. Also, this piece here is actually the uh, stock attachment point, which I do like because it has that sling attachment point on the side, but i don't see the need for a stock attachment point if i'm not going to put a stock on it because if i wanted a stock i would have gotten a nexus pro and now i know what you're thinking well jake if you wanted something pump action why didn't you get a nexus pro and to that i say shut the fuck sorry i got carried away again so this is my first time opening it up these are the internals and it's pretty it's pretty clean i mean it's pretty self-explanatory here the breach up here plunger tube trigger mechanism this is all gonna get replaced and I have some uh, locks that I gotta remove so uh, next time you hear from me those will be gone also I don't know if it's just important to me but this is something that I thought I should mention is that every screw in the Aeon Pro is the exact same size and I think that is something that nerf and just every blaster brand in general needs to focus on a bit more is standardization of hardware like that because it just makes things so much more easier so for you guys, it's a second, but for me, it's the next day. The locks actually have been removed, and I did manage to attach the part that actually makes the whole thing pump action. Uh, it wasn't going in uh, just by screwing it, so I did have to drill a little bit of the material out, just a little, and uh, the screws were able to go in, because in, in Palm Top Supply's actual video, he did just screw them in, but it wasn't working for me, so I did that, and uh, hopefully I didn't just destroy this whole thing. And after the most stressful McDonald's run ever, <laughs> I just want to go home. <laughs> I just want to go home. You're a not a water, bro. The 
dumbest thing. <laughs> we just really needed chicken nuggies, didn't we? <laughs> it wasn't raining then. I'm ready to get back to work, so let's do this. So after debating with myself for a little while, I decided that I do want the stuck attachment point because I'm not going to be putting a stock on this, but that sling point right there is going to be really nice for when I actually do get a sling. Uh, so now I'm going to put this piece right here into the telescoping rod. This is what actually makes the whole thing uh, short dart only. So this is going to be shoved in here. I took the spare uh, Aeon Pro O-ring, slipped it over here. And now it's all lubed up, ready to go, so uh, I'm going to do that right now. Okay, it's in, and that thing is not going anywhere, so I hope I didn't mess this up. All the internals are back into place. I added the uh, tack reel that comes with this kit. There's also a lightning trigger, if I can get it into frame, there we go, lightning trigger, and a replacement for the uh, mag release. Uh, but I don't really like this trigger too much. No offense to Palm Top Supply, it's just I prefer the one that comes with the, the Aeon. And uh, I have no use for this mag release, so uh, maybe I'll keep these as spares or put them in my next Aeon build. Uh, there's also this right here, which I imagine replaces the mag release that goes onto the adapter. And if I decide to add that, I'll uh, show you guys when we get around to it. But it's all put together. Now we're going to button this baby up. Aeon Pro is buttoned up. Real nice, real solid. I already love this kit and it's not even complete. Uh, I did have some trouble back here with the stock attachment point. Uh, it was an error on my end. It wasn't aligned properly, so I had to take a sock and my uh, my clamp here to get it closer together so that I could screw in this uh, back piece right there. Uh, that's the only issue I've had so far with this. Actually, also on the stock attachment point, I should mention, there are some rough edges here. But they're not too big a deal. Uh, I can probably sand those out or whatever. So, there's that. And now we're getting into the real hardware. The pump is about to be attached. And the next time you see this, it should be a full pump action Aeon Pro. Yes. Just yes. So the pump action kit went together as a success. Honestly, it's a pretty easy build even without a guide to follow, but I do recommend if you're a first timer like me that you do follow the guy that Palm Top Supply made himself. But, like I just said, without it, you probably uh, can do it. It's pretty straightforward, and it came together so well in the end. This is the first time I've ever built anything like this, and I am so in love with it. So, in Palm Top Supply's guide on how to build this, he actually did screw all the inner screws in by hand with just a screwdriver. But I found the material wasn't grabbing the screw like I wanted it to. For him, it went in just fine, but it wasn't working for me. So what I did was I took my drill, the 764 bit, and drilled out just a little bit of the material so that the screw had some wiggle room to fit in before grabbing the material and sinking in. So there is that to keep in mind when you build it, but otherwise, it went together fairly easy. And I'm going to keep saying that because honestly, it was easy. Like... <laughs> Everything went exactly where you think it would go. The hardware was really simple to put together. It's just, it's really nice. This is such a clean build. So I bought the complete kit, and the complete kit did some, did come with some parts that I didn't use. Uh, it came with a lightning trigger, it came with a mag release replacement, and a short dart mag release complacement, complacement? Replacement. Sorry, I can't English right now. I'm just so jazzed over this thing. Who? But yeah, these are the parts I didn't use. Uh, I don't know what I'll do with them. Either keep them as spares or maybe give them away to someone. I don't know. We'll figure that out in the future. Overall, the kit just looks great. And it actually adds some weight to the Aeon Pro that I didn't know the Aeon Pro needed until it was there. Like, this just makes it all the more comfortable. The kit itself is just really comfortable. Aside from the weight and comfort, aesthetically, my favorite part about this are the included HK sights. I talked about them during building, I think? Well, I don't know if I did, but if I didn't, I'm talking about them now. The HK sights just bring this whole thing together, and I honestly can't picture this build without them. Even if you're not getting a short dart or just any pump action kit from Palm Top Supply, you need to get these HK sights because they look so great, and it just... It suits it so well. I don't know what it is about it. I just... Mmm, so great. 
and I did discuss it a little bit in the build highlights, uh, but in the end I decided to put the stock attachment point on. It was giving me a little bit of trouble, but not to the fault of Palm Top Supply. It was mainly just me misaligning screws and holes, and now uh, there's a bit of a gap in the middle, but it's not so much to where it's going to bother me. I can live with it, honestly, it's not that big a deal. Uh, but the main reason I put the stock attachment point on here, even though I'm not going to be running this build with a stock, is because of the sling attachment point here that is on the uh, stock attachment point. This sling point is just really convenient, and you know that hanging off of me will be really nice. Uh, I could always just uh, have bought a worker swivel sling point, whatever that thing is called, and attach it to the Picatinny. But I figured this was more convenient, because it's just right there. Why would I buy a part when I can sling something here, you know? And I hate to disappoint you guys, but you're not even getting any firing footage in this video, because it is dark and wet outside, so... Uh, we're just gonna abuse Ramsey over there a little bit, so... Operation of this thing is pretty smooth. Uh, I did lube the crap out of everything, so there's that. Uh, it does still top feed still. So that's fun. Smooth. Nice and smooth. I also did lube up everything on the inside because it's already open, you know, why not? And uh, firing goes exactly how you would expect. Very nice. I, ooh, it landed in my lap! <laughs> I mean, we have the dart, you know, might as well just, you know, take it there and there and then, uh, sorry. <laughs> it keeps coming back to me! <laughs> But yeah, it can still top feed, which is a big plus for me, and originally I was actually kind of um, iffy on getting this kit because I didn't like this exposed bit here, but honestly it's growing on me. I really like it. Safe to say, I really love how this build turned out, though it's not finished yet. There are still some parts I gotta get. Most importantly is a grip up here for the pump, because I don't know if you could tell, but doing this is kind of hard to do. So. A vertical grip would make that a lot easier, and Palm Top Supply actually did recommend that you use a vertical grip rather than an angled grip, because an angled grip will probably just slam into this part right here. I do prefer angled grip, so I might try to find one that comes out far enough to where it won't slam into the blaster, but I have my eyes on a vertical grip that I'll be getting soon that I really like and I think really fits this, uh, this aesthetic. And now that I removed the locks, I can actually pump this while it's primed, so I can show you just how smooth it actually is. That's really nice. Oh, wait a minute, where's my falcon fire? First the falcon fire. And the Aeon Pro. Granted, it's only really this smooth when it's primed, because you gotta get that first prime out of the way, and then you can... So yeah, the build isn't done yet, I still gotta get that grip, I still would like a flared magwell, a safety delete. Don't think I really need an optic because these HK sights are fine enough for me. They're pretty much iron sights, but ah, it's just so, it's so cool, man. Before we sign off, I actually do have an idea I want to throw out there to someone. I can't do it because I don't have the expertise yet, but I would think it'd be awesome if someone out there could take an Aeon Pro and shove flywheels in it. I don't know how you would do it. I don't know if there's enough room up there for them. Maybe uh, print a special top rail part to give yourself some more room for maybe FTW flywheels. I don't know if those are small enough for that, but I think that'd be really cool. If Jolt King can make an Ultra Aeon Pro, then I think someone out there can make a flywheel Aeon Pro. And if it already exists, I need someone to tell me because I have to see that. It would be awesome. But now that about does it for this video, if you liked it, make sure to like, hit the, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you can be notified when I make more content. Doing so also does encourage me to make more content, and some encouragement for you guys to comment. From now on, a random comment will be placed somewhere in each video, so go ahead and comment and you might see it in a video. It could be in the background, could be on the table, could be on a blaster, who knows? Find out. Also, make sure to share this video with someone that you think would like it so you can help the hobby grow, and I will see you next time.